as you might have noticed, I've become a bit obsessed with learning and practicing palette knife flowers, and I wanted to take you along as I practiced a new version of this method. So I'm starting off with four different cake layers. Two of them are lavender flavored, and two of them are lemon flavored. I've got some buttercream and lemon curd for the filling, and then I've got all kinds of buttercream colored in some purple and kind of burgundy pink hues, and then also some greens. And I'm going to be creating kind of an abstract slash my own version of something that I'm interpreting as a mix between a lavender and a lilac. So before I can get into the fun palette knife part of this experiment, I'm going to stack and fill my cake here. If this is super boring to you, please feel free to skip ahead. If you like watching uh, cakes being stacked as I do, um, enjoy. Now that I've got both my crumb coat and my final coat of my cake done, and yes, I'm leaving the jagged edges on the top of the cake, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a practice round of these palette knife flowers on my cutting board before I move along to the side of the cake. And I want the side of the cake to be firm, and so that's in my refrigerator waiting for me to finish practicing. So, because this was a new style for me, I wanted to try using three different palette knives. So as I'm practicing here, you can see I'm using a very thin, very fine palette knife, followed by probably my favorite palette knife, which I ended up using, and then a larger palette knife that has a rounded tip that I thought might be useful. 
in any case, with all of my practicing, all of my different palette knives, I went in and I just gathered a little bit of buttercream on the bottom of my knife and then pressed it straight down against my cutting board. I went one color at a time and then I have four different colors. Um, just doing a little scattering of petals here and there, building it up as I went. I will show you after I finish this little testing out different shapes of palette knife sizes, um, how I gathered the buttercream under the knife. So you can really see from these three different styles in the center that the flower can look really different depending on what palette knife you decide to use and then also how much of the palette knife surface you're picking up buttercream on. Regardless of what you're doing though, the way that I picked up the buttercream that I wanted was by basically just scooping along the buttercream and so I kind of smoothed it out into a relatively flat surface just so I wasn't constantly trying to pick up adequate amounts. Um, it was much easier just to grab this way and so I scooped up about the amount that I wanted and then smoothed and pressed my knife onto my cutting board kind of a 45 degree angle back and forth and then pressed it straight down into the cutting board as you watched me do before. So I gathered the buttercream that I wanted and then I'm pressing it back and forth and this is to create smooth edges. As you can see, the petal that I've pressed against my cutting board has really defined smooth edges. If I just gathered a clump of buttercream and pressed it straight down, it would still look like a petal, but it might be a little bit lumpy or jagged at the sides. So before I can start with that, I'm going to once again begin with my green, create that stem for all of my different flowers. And I wanted to create some movement, and so I just went along and created different sizes of stem and then also going in slightly different directions. A couple of them have little secondary <laughs> sprigs running off of them. And then once that was done, I went in to create exactly what you saw me practicing against my cutting board. 
with exactly the method that I was just showing you of how to pick up buttercream the entire time. So once again, I scooped up some buttercream under my palette knife, use a little bit of pressure at about a 45 degree angle to create those smoothed edges that you see, and then I'm just pressing my knife flat against my cake and then pulling away gently. The most difficult thing about doing this on the side of a cake and creating any kind of flower on something that is uh, vertical <laughs> is that you want to make sure you get the cake and the cake board as close to the edge of something as possible. Otherwise, you're going to be reaching over things or it might be hard to get the end of a palette knife at the right angle. As you see here, my palette knife is well below the base of my cake and that's possible because it's at the edge of my cake stand. If you don't have a cake stand or if your cake turn table is very short, as some are, you might want to either put the cake at the edge of your counter or if you have like a bunch of cookbooks or something even just set it at the edge of a big stack of cookbooks or anything so you can get it up higher um, and have a little bit more room to maneuver and then for each of the flowers i just went through with one color at a time if you wanted a little bit more striation through your petals and leaves you could just smear your buttercream about and pick up at random which i think could certainly be stunning and gorgeous but i wanted a little bit more definition so i just went through one color at a time and added some leaves at the end and then turned my cake so the next stem was at the front and the edge of my turntable Going to repeat this exact same process again a couple of times if you want to see how I did this once again or if you like me find it very soothing to watch buttercream and enjoy this moment if you do want to double check how I gathered the buttercream on the bottom of my palette knife go ahead and scoot back um, rewind a little bit and watch that I'm not going to repeat it because it's literally the same thing and it's so easy just scooping up that buttercream again you could even just scoop it right up and then press it directly on the cake without doing that back and forth motion um, if you don't mind having a little bit jagged edges so I will leave you in peace to watch these flowers come to life
I had the flowers pressed onto my cake around the entire cake I used a little bit of gold luster dust mixed with a little bit of almond extract you can use any clear extract or alcohol um, and this is the reason I left the top of the cake jagged I love this look I think it is at the same time rustic and elegant especially with the gold so you could use any color of luster dust here um, I think the gold matches so beautifully with the purple in the flowers and it just kind of brings a little bit of fun and surprise to the top of the cake because otherwise the top of the cake is entirely bare the flowers are exclusively around the sides of this cake so with that my cake is completely finished I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this new style of palette knife cake um, again it is a little bit random I wasn't looking at a picture of any particular flower it was just kind of an idea wandering around <laughs> in my head I'm obsessed with the color purple so this just naturally occurred I really appreciate everyone who watches my videos and I'm so thankful that you're all here thanks again for watching I'll see you next time bye